So in this video, I'm talking about the fact that I don't have a set exercise routine in that I vary my workout every single time I train. So there's a lot of unconventional things that I do and have done for the past 30 plus years that have been instrumental in doing everything from helping me put on enough muscle mass to become a natural bodybuilder, to competing as a natural bodybuilder, and I'd probably say, most importantly, to be able to still look like this a year away from my 50th birthday. I train three times a week with workouts that last 10, 15, max 20 minutes. And as unconventional as that sounds, every workout I do is sometimes radically different from the last one. So the only thing really unifying my workouts is the intensity. Now, this is the fundamental difference between what I call naturally intense high intensity training and other forms of high intensity training in that every workout is unique. What's most important is the fact that I haven't really seen a plateau over a three decade period. And that's been the case as well with clients. And I have to say that burying my workouts helped me build a balanced physique, helped me increase my overall strength. And most importantly, it's helped me avoid injuries. And this video, I'm going to talk about how it's going to help you as well. Not just make progress, but keep on making progress. So stay tuned. Let's talk a little more about this. So in this video, I'm talking about the fact that I change my workout every single time and that for a natural athlete, it has worked tremendously throughout my career. Now, before I go any further, like thank everyone for tuning in. I really appreciate the support for this channel, especially those who should be a one-stop place for anyone interested in training naturally. I truly appreciate it. And do be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell as well. So you're first in line to get the new content as it comes out. So. On to how Kevin trains. While most exercise plans and the ones that I started training with initially all focus on doing the same thing over and over and then tracking your progression to your particular set of exercises. One of the universal issues is that at some point in time, because muscle growth and increase in muscle strength are adaptation to something that's new and a stimulation that overloads the muscle in a way it's not accustomed to, over time, we tend to plateau. You get to a point where you no longer see results, even though when you first started that program, the results were fantastic. And that's actually one of the biggest problems in the natural bodybuilding or bodybuilding field in and of itself, in that almost any workout program, high volume, low volume, high intensity, moderate intensity. If you go from laying on the couch to going in the gym and doing one of those programs, you are going to see some initial progress. Even if you're a veteran lifter, I've been training for a long period of time and you change your workout in a way that's radically different from what you're accustomed to, for the first couple of weeks, you are going to see some growth and some improvement because it's stimulating the muscles in a way it's not accustomed to. And that leads to another problem in that when someone goes to the gym and starts working out, especially if they're on their own, is that you fall into the path of least resistance. You go to a place where you have your routine, you know what to do. You have an idea how many sets you're going to do, how many reps you're going to do, what weight you're going to use. And in the beginning, it's fantastic. You're seeing the gains, you're seeing the progress, but over time, it's going to stop inevitably, especially if you're a natural athlete, because your body is going to adapt to it. At which point in time, people tend to keep on going because they're comfortable with that particular routine. 
and it doesn't take that much in the way of brain power to have to figure out how to do something different every single time. But let's go back to what happens when someone changes their routine, be it a beginner or a veteran lifter. Because you're doing something different, your muscles have no choice but to adapt. And what I decided to do when I was formulating naturally intense high intensity training was that every single workout was going to be different, which creates a scenario where every single time I train, what I'm doing is something that my muscles aren't really expecting. It's different from what I was doing the week before and the week before that and the week before that. Now, one other thing that I've also observed working in gyms for over 30 years is that most people tend to do more or less 50 or 60 exercises over the course of their entire lifetimes. And that's absolutely not the way in my approach is. It's not just about putting on more weight. There are also dozens of different ways to increase the intensity, supersets, compound sets, pyramiding, ultra high repetitions, isometric hold, heavy eccentric training, drop sets, partial reps, and so many more. <clears throat> Couple them together and you realize that you could literally do a different workout every single time you trained over the course of decades. But it does take some preparation. And it also does take a significant understanding and knowledge of all the exercises out there, all the ways that you can increase intensity. More importantly, it requires you to be in a place where those lifts that you really enjoy, that you don't fall into the trap of doing it over and over. Now, right there, that sparked a question for a lot of people in terms of how do I track progression? And I'm a natural bodybuilder. My whole goal is to increase muscle mass and be as lean as humanly possible while doing so. I'm not a power lifter interested in trying to increase my bench, my squat, or my deadlift. But that being said, have been able to lift some pretty impressive weights over the years, and I'm still able to do that, even though I don't focus on one particular exercise and keep on changing exercises all the time. Now, one of the other important benefits that comes from changing your routine every single time is that you don't have as much injuries. Overuse injury comes from doing the same motion over and over. And I can't tell you how many men and women I've seen over the years who don't train that heavy or that intensely dealing with seriously chronic injuries because they do the same things and as a natural athlete. It takes a long time to see results. And so you need to make sure you have a routine that's based on some form of sustainability. So you'll be able to keep on training and keep on making progress as long as I am, if not longer. And I'd like to end by saying just how grateful I am to be able to make the progress I've made over the years and also the privilege to be able to help so many people realize their goals as well. It's truly been a blessing. And I think that this form of training could help a lot of people realize their goal. So thanks so much for tuning in. No, I believe in you. And as always, Excelsior. <laughs>